All right, what's up you guys? So today I'm gonna talk about how I lost 30 pounds in 90 days. No tracking, no nothing. Um, this is just gonna be a super chill video. I'm just chilling in my kitchen with uh, with a light there. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's, let's talk about this real quick. And first off, I just wanted to say that any of you guys that have some self-doubt in yourself that you can't do this, 30 pounds in 90 days, right? I know you've seen thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have done it. I get people all, to, all the time in my DMs saying, oh, I can't do this because of my genetics, my current situation. You can do it. I did it without tracking the busiest schedule. Um, this is the time for a little background information. Um, I really found my connection with God here. This is really where I fell in love with it and got that same feeling as when I started. Um, Jesus, my shoulders getting tired. It's only been a minute. So I've been lifting for about four years now, and I just wanted to say that tracking your calories, of course, is awesome. I do it now. I've been doing it for months now, and it's awesome because it actually guarantees your results. But I just wanted to say throughout this process, I did not track my calories, if I'm being 100% honest, and you guys don't exactly need to either. It's just guaranteed. Yeah, as I was saying, like this is the time when I really, really found another passion with the gym when I first started getting back into the gym um, on and off for multiple, multiple years. I've talked about this a few times, but this is when like my peak passion happened for the second time. So it's when I really started to lose that weight. And honestly, it wasn't that hard. It was only just by adding a few things, but um, it really just gave me a new spike of passion again, really gave me purpose in my life. And a lot of people, when they think of losing weight, they think of, you know, super low energy, not feeling good throughout the day, absolutely miserable. I just want to tell you guys, I was probably in a better mood mentally 24 seven, even on the first day for when I'm losing weight. I don't know if that's just because I started skinnier um, because I bulked up and then lost the weight a little bit, but it doesn't change at all because my metabolism of how low it was. And what I mean by this is that when your metabolism is so low instead of so high, when your metabolism is very high, you're burning calories at a very, very high rate, meaning that so where I was, the second that I dropped my calories, instant weight loss. So instant motivation, that means. And that's the same for any of you guys who are super, super overweight, um, instant metabolism boost, just literally from starting to add in a little bit of cardio, um, starting to go to the gym a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so what I did exactly, um, let's just get right into this, but added a little tiny, tiny bit of cardio, like five to seven days a week. I was doing about 15 to 30 minutes, more so on like the 20 to 30 minute side, um, maybe multiple times a day, maybe two times a day, but come on, adding in that little bit of 20 to 30 minutes of cardio, one to two times a day, it's, it's fun. If you do it with a friend, if you chuck a podcast on, not hard at all. So that's what I added, low intensity, steady state cardio, no running, no nothing, I promise you, you will not be able to have longevity with any of this. This is what I teach my guys um, in my one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Um, you can check it out on my Instagram if you want. But this is the biggest thing that I teach with them. It's longevity and consistency. None of it matters. I can give you, I can give you the, the most extravagant 1,000-page program ever. But if you're not staying accountable, if you're not staying on top of something, there's no shot that you're going to lose the weight. There's no shot that you're going to get in shape. So yeah, other than that, the most important thing other than your steps and making sure that you're actually moving, which to be honest, 20 to 30 minutes of cardio one to two times a day, um, it's not that bad. Whether you're doing with a friend, family, chuck a podcast on, not bad at all. Also, the biggest thing I did was I was eating a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit. I mean, you guys can even see, look, I don't know how well you can see that, fruit bowl right over there fruit probably three, four, five times a day. Uh, also low calorie, high volume foods. So foods that I can eat a lot of that have very, very low calories. And I could show you guys some of those, but I'm going to give you some examples. Egg whites, rice cakes, fruit, Greek yogurt. Um, those are like the best ones in my opinion. Those I, I ate every single day. What I would do is I would do rice cakes, and then I would do Greek yogurt, and then I would do some fruit on top, and then maybe a little bit of honey, maybe like 300 calories. Um, you don't even have to track. Like I said, I did all this without tracking. It's all about eating those low calorie, high volume foods. So you can eat a ton of them, but you just don't have to do it until you're absolutely full to the brim. Just eat until you're satiated, man. That, that's one of the biggest things, but just eat till you're satiated and then add in that little bit of cardio. That's all I did. Super quick video. That's all I did to lose 30 pounds in 90 days. 90 days, 30 pounds. People would dream of that. 
I promise you, man, add in those few things and above all, stay consistent, maybe keep something accountable in yourself, whether that's a group chat with your friends, doing something, going to the gym with your friends, family, whatever it is, or join my program. You got to stay consistent. And that's the only way that you're going to get there. Hope this helps you guys um, sub for more. And uh, let me know if you'd want maybe some more videos like this.